Hi, welcome back to Introduction to Programming. This is Unit 1, Module 0, Lesson 6. It's called About Me. That's the title of the project for this assignment. But before we get into that project, I wanted to go over a couple little pieces of Scratch that will help you through the course. So first is adding comments to your code. This can help you understand different parts of your program, but also for other people if they remix your code to understand what exactly you did. So we're gonna dive into some untitled Scratch project that I have here. And any block or group of blocks, you can right click on and click add a comment. When you do that, you get this little pop out that you can type a comment in and you can make it to shrink, make it expand, and then as you add in other blocks, the comment just stays there. So that way you can see exactly what's going on. The other thing I wanted to show you before we jump into the About Me is if you're in Scratch and you're looking for your projects, if you click over here on the right hand side, there's a link here that says My Stuff. When you click on that, it will take you to your listing of projects that you've made. And I've stored it. So you can see all your projects. You can see what's been shared, what's not shared. And then we also have this thing here called Studios. So you could actually create your own studio, just like we've been using the studios that Scratch has created. But we can create our own studios, and maybe we'll do one for the class where you can share projects or collect your projects together. So maybe you have all of your introduction to programming classes projects collected in one studio and your personal projects in another studio so you can keep track of which is which. So the main reason I have the lesson today is the About Me lesson. And this lesson is encouraging you to describe yourself. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, but in kind of a fun way. So you can see the picture here. We have some headphones and graphic design and a palm tree and then some character icon that's supposed to represent the person. And when you click on the person, it tells them a little introduction statement. And then as they click on different icons, it gives them a little piece of information about them. So here's how you're going to start. Um, you're going to start by looking at the when this sprite is clicked and you're gonna play a sound. So you're gonna to have to either record some sounds yourself or instead of having a sound, you could have it say some text, a pop-up, whatever you want. So this will be your starting sprite, but it doesn't have to be this sprite. It could be a sprite that you find inside the library or it could be a picture of yourself that you can upload. I don't recommend too much with the pictures of yourself, but I would look for something in the sprite or some icon that kind of represents who you are. And then you're going to do this a couple other times so that when they click on the different icons, they represent things of you. And I'll show you a couple examples, but here's the studio. So if we dive into the studio to look at some examples, we can kind of see what some people have done. So let's just pick one. So here's Kelly's project. Oh, she wants to use the web camera and the microphone. Okay, I'm gonna allow that. Um, actually, yeah, we're, we're not gonna allow that because I don't want it to mess up my recording. But all about me, I'm gonna say Tom. I guess she wants to take a picture. Maybe that's Hi, my name is Kelly. Okay, so doesn't look like her project is quite working. So maybe she's not done it yet. So let's go back Hi. to the and see if we can find another project that is a little bit more done. It looked like it was done. Let's try this one. instruments and then I live in he's lived in four states including Pennsylvania 
in South Carolina, Texas. If given the choice, he would rather find a quiet corner. So you can kind of see all the different kinds of things he did. And he did, his is a little bit more advanced. He has some of the backgrounds changing when you click on it. So if you want to see how he did it, you click on see inside and you can see that for each of the sprites, let me hit stop here. For each of the sprites, we have some code. You have one for the earth, you have one for the saxophone, they have one for the dove, and they have one for the speaker. I'd like an additional icon that represents you that kind of gives an introduction. So I want one more icon. So four pictures and one icon. So if we go back to the about me, there's an assignment here. There's also the about me studio if you want to look at some more projects. And you're going to just post the link to your about me project, just like we did before in the written submission. So have fun with it. Remember, though, you do have a limited amount of time to work on it. Don't work on it forever. Get it to the point where you believe you can submit it, submit the assignment, and then if you want to continue working on it after that, feel free to continue working on it. But make sure you get the assignment submitted so that way we can move forward because there's always more stuff to do. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.